one of the most helpful YouTube videos ever. If in fact you have a Toyota Highlander, this is a 2006 and this is very important. If you have JBL right there, that means that you have an amplifier. That means you're gonna need a very specific set of wires. I have actually linked everything in the description so that you can click on those, replicate exactly what I'm doing. I actually got a little frustrated with some tutorials out there on YouTube on how to get a brand new stereo. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna link that also. I love this thing, it works flawlessly, works awesome with my iPhone. And I was so frustrated because he started putting these resistors in there and he basically assumed that I was an engineer and it was just horrible. And then, then another video, well anyway, I'm not gonna slam too much on them. I know that we make these YouTube videos just to kind of help you out. Plus, if you were to click on some of the links below and you'll see all of the things that I link to that I use, then I actually get a kickback, even though the main purpose of this is not necessarily to make money, but you know, let's be honest, buying groceries is kind of nice. Now there's gonna be two parts to this video. The first part is gonna be a big roadmap. So we're talking high level from step one all the way to step two, basically where everything is laid out. And then the second part of this video, I warn you, it's gonna be kind of boring, but this is really for all the people who kind of need that step by step Maybe there's only like 20 of you, but I'm gonna show you exactly where wires go and all of that. So first of all, 2006 Toyota Highlander. There's no navigation system in here. It's a JBL, as mentioned, that's very important. And if you're not quite sure if it's JBL, let's say you have different speakers in there. JBL basically means that there's an amplifier in your vehicle. And you can find out if there's an amplifier by opening up the back of your vehicle right here, popping this up, taking this tray out, and then right over here, see this metal box? And now I'm not a car guy, but apparently that gives you some fantastic bass and it amps up all of your speakers. You're gonna need to bypass that thing, which this long cable right there is required to do that. Eventually we're gonna hide that, but I kinda just wanna show you that it plugs in right there. You're gonna see another plug back there. Just ignore that, keep that plugged in. This is the only one that you're going to want to plug into. Originally this was plugged in right into there, but we're basically bypassing that thing. Does that make sense? All right, so that's one cable that's linked in the description below. The other cable that you're going to need is, uh, well, I actually had to do a return because I was so frustrated. But uh, there's another one that I'm going to link. It is not actually, oh, it is, it is the, wait, 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 this is the long one right here. So the long cable actually comes with that, this little guy right there, and that plugs in natively to right in here. However, you're gonna disregard that. So just throw that away, and instead, you're going to have to buy and, uh, uh, wait, that's my parking brake bypass. We're gonna get to that in a second. That's exciting. Okay, you're gonna have to buy this little guy right here. See, it says 70-8113. Again, I'm gonna link that in the description below, but this will absolutely allow you to wire up your, uh, your harness and actually plug directly into here. Now, let's go ahead and break this down. The top one's right up here, well, except for that guy. These top three, those go to your HVAC system. So your AC and your heat, just ignore those. Now the bottom one right here, that is the one that is specifically for the JBL system. And if you were to just plug in a wiring harness adapter for a Toyota Highlander 2006, it's not gonna fit this. You specifically need the one for the JBL system which, as I mentioned, is this one right here, 70-8113, okay? The other ones will not work. As a matter of fact, I think I actually have it in here. This guy, yeah. If you've made the mistake of buying this one, uh, go ahead and return this. That is not even going to work, okay? So we're gonna throw that away. Pay no attention to that. Back we go to this. So this is pretty much the only three things that you're gonna be plugging into the back of your stereo. Gonna be this one right here. 
and then you're going to have this one right here. I think that's your antenna, okay? And then actually this one right here, I've just left dangling. I have no idea what this little guy goes to, okay? And then with this particular stereo, we've got a USB extension port, and that is actually going to eventually hook up to my lightning cable in order for me to do Apple CarPlay and get my iPhone to show up on the stereo screen itself. It's pretty darn cool. Lastly, with this particular stereo, you do get a microphone. Not microphone, I've already threaded right up here. Just gives you beautiful crisp audio when you are talking hands-free, and it's pretty darn cool. Okay, now let's talk about details here. Uh, you are also going to need some little uh, face plates right here, right there and there, otherwise, there's gonna to be too much space, so you can buy these spacers, and they fit on right here, right into the side. Oh, that's just gonna look absolutely beautiful, but you will need these spacers there and there. Yeah, okay. And as for the wiring, okay. So I've already mentioned that you're gonna need that harness that I mentioned earlier to plug right into here, and you are also going to need this really, really long cable that goes all the way back to your amp. Okay, so it's basically two things that you're gonna need, the wiring harness and this long cable. But you're also gonna need a third thing. This is probably sold in some areas, some places, I'm not actually gonna mention where, but just Google around for this guy right here. This is Red Wolf, and this is specifically a parking brake bypass. Uh, now, I'm not a car guy, so I never knew this before, but apparently, if you try to watch Netflix while you're driving, that's considered illegal. I know, surprise, surprise. Uh, however, uh, let's say, for example, you have a screen on here and you can't see what's going on and you're being perfectly legal and you're driving straight ahead, but the passenger wants to watch Netflix on here, right? Well, it won't let you unless you are fully stopped and your parking brake is on. It's kind of frustrating that they lock you out of the system unless your parking brake is on. So in order to bypass the parking brake, you need that, this cool little thing. Okay, so I'm also gonna link to this in the description below. And also, might actually need these guys right here to pop the face off. These are kind of nice because you're not actually scratching anything because uh, they're plastic. Okay, so this is much, much easier to pop it off as opposed to using a metal screwdriver. Also, those are gonna be linked down below. You're probably gonna need some crimp caps in order to crimp this. I uh, put some electrical tape on there for really, really good safekeeping. I really didn't want those crimp caps to, to go anywhere. All right, so first of all, see this little guy right here? This came with the stereo. This plugs into the back of my stereo. And then I essentially went color to color and I connected. So this is the adapter right here that plugs directly into my vehicle. And you will see that I ignored, I ignored the blue, but the blue white goes with, this is kind of tricky. I'm gonna get very detailed here. The blue white from my adapter right there goes with the blue white there. And then it also goes with the white on the parking brake bypass, okay? And then if we go over to the parking brake bypass itself, there's only three wires coming out of it. Again, I've just mentioned the white goes with the uh, blue and white, okay? And this is on the back of the package as well, or on the insert as well. Back to the parking brake bypass. All right, and then there are there is another cable here, the green on the parking brake bypass right here goes to the light green on your stereo hookup right here. So again, this goes back into my into the back of my Pioneer. A long light green wire comes out, not the dark green. Dark green goes to an actual speaker. Ignore that. It's probably gonna be longer than the rest, this light green parking brake. And that's going to plug right into the green of my parking brake bypass. Lastly, the black goes to black, all right? Do not be alarmed if there are three wires going into something, um, okay? So pretty much just go color to color, and when in doubt, you can always look at the back of these packaging or the little inserts, and you will be able 
to match everything up. Now all I need to do is go ahead and mount this thing here, precariously place it back into there, plug in the top of my HVAC here, and then the bottom right here is going to plug right into this little guy here. And then these right here. Now this kind of confused me, but if you're unsure where these go, simply refer to the Pioneer manual and they will tell you exactly where to go in the back here. Spoiler alert, they're just going to go in these right here. One, two, three, four. And you can actually see, see how that says FR right there. That stands for front right. This one right here, FL, front left. This one, rear left. This one, rear right. So those AC, uh, uh, RCA cables will correspond with this right there. Uh, all the other RCA ports, these guys right here, you can pretty much ignore unless you have something like a backup camera, which I do not. Uh, if I were to pass on any kind of recommendations, it is definitely wire it up and test it just to get a proof of concept before you push everything back into there. So you might have to balance it precariously on your dash, but you just wanna guarantee that it does work just in case you didn't accidentally put a wire somewhere that you weren't supposed to. Uh, but for the most part, they do go color to color and except for that parking brake bypass, which I already showed you guys. And obviously I'm not saying that you should watch Netflix as you're driving, because if you are, you're gonna deserve a ticket. There are some things that you can ignore, such as the this, uh, this mute right here. I mean, I don't have a mute and I just taped it off like that just to be safe. And also this violet with a white stripe, I taped that off because that is for, it actually has a little tag on it, reverse rear signal input. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have that. And then I also taped off this blue wire, and that's for a power antenna, and I don't have a power antenna. But pretty much everything else um, is just goes color to color, and those go all the way back, this big long line, which I will be hiding later, and it works absolutely beautifully. There you go, everybody. I hope this helps. Again, everything is linked in the description below, and hopefully this saves you a lot of returns because I went back and forth trying to figure out how this works. The main thing was I didn't realize that I had a JBL amp back there. I was a little frustrated, but I'm really excited to see this adapter working. All right, everybody, that's it. Less than 15 minutes, how to wire up your Toyota Highlander 2006. Catch you later.